Once upon a time, in a town called Delarisa, there lived a widow Helga with her daughter Helena. They were a wealthy family that lived there for generations and were loved by all the townspeople. Helga loved Helena and would always give her daughter whatever it was she desired, not realizing that Helena was being spoiled. No, I want the pink one, not the blue one. Sure, sweetie. Years flew by and Helena grew up into a lovely and smart young woman. Oh, Jeff, look at my little girl. Jeff was the Stern family's oldest helper. Being a part of the family since before Helena was born, he was a loyal and kind old man. Well, ma'am, she isn't little anymore. Yes, I shall find her a smart and loving husband who she can happily spend the rest of her life with. Helga found Helena a nice young man whose name was Ron. When he and Helena met, they instantly liked each other and agreed wholeheartedly to a marriage. Helga was overjoyed at this and soon the preparations commenced. On one such day, Helga was rummaging through all her cupboards. Where is it? Ma'am, the cook is calling for... Oh, what's wrong? Oh, Jeff, I need to find something for... Aha! I found it! Helga gently drew out a beautiful purple velvet box from within the messy shelf and dusted it. What's the... Oh, it's so pretty! This is an emerald necklace which my mother had given me on my wedding day and I want to give it to Helena. I'm sure she will love it dearly. Mother, I can't find my brush. Oh, oh, that's an ugly box. Madam Helena. Oh, well, what color would you like it to be? Me? I'd want it to be a bright red color. Anyway, I just came for this. Ma'am. It's all right, Jeff. It's a good thing I had closed the box. This can be changed easily. And would you go to the jewelers to get a heart etched onto the clasp? Would you also get the box changed? Of course. So the next day, after having it changed, Jeff handed over the box to Helga. Wonderful. Thank you, Jeff. You're welcome. Soon, the wedding day had arrived, and Helga helped her daughter get ready. Oh, my little one, you look so beautiful. The wedding was soon held with a lot of joy. At the end of the day, as Helena got ready to leave with her husband, Helga called her to her. My dear, know that you are the greatest and most priceless gift ever. Here. This is a gift passed down in my family, which I now pass on to you. This box? That's why it was so important? Thank you, Mother. I will miss you so much. Helena and Ron left the house and started to travel back home. It soon started to rain very heavily on the way. Traveling was unsafe, and the couple had to stop by an inn to rest. As they sat down, Helena curiously opened the box. Oh my, this is beautiful. And she's put my name here too. Helena hugged it tight, thinking of all the love her mother had ever given her. Suddenly, she heard the sound of sobbing. Two women were sitting behind her. You mustn't cry. You're marrying Tom today. Don't you love him? Why is this silly woman so unhappy on her wedding day? I do, <laughs> but he has just lost his job and I do have no money. How can we start a life like this? On hearing this, Helena realized that she had always gotten whatever she wanted. And that girl had nothing. She felt sorry for her. Helena, the rain seems to have lessened. Shouldn't we go now? She nodded, and as Ron went to collect their coats, she called the innkeeper to her. 
she handed over the box to be given to the crying lady. As they were leaving, Helena turned around and saw the delight and surprise on the young woman's face. Helena smiled as she and her husband continued on their journey. Soon, Ron and Helena were living happily and even had a little baby boy named Derek. Over the years, life continued as usual until one day, four years later, their town was hit by a terrible earthquake that destroyed a lot of homes. Come, my love. We will have to evacuate the town. I've got Derek. Let's go. As they were rushing through the crowds, Helena got separated from her family. Derek! Ron! Where are you? Helena had no choice but to travel with the people escaping to a town called Lasagna. Lasagna was filled with people who had escaped the earthquake and they all tried to help each other out in any way they could. One day, Helena was sitting at the side of the road, sadly, when an old woman walked up to her. Dear child, you look awful. You must be hungry. Not too far from here, you will find the Desmond House. They are giving out food to people. Thank you so much. When Helena got there, she saw many people asking desperately for food. She wondered how she could get through when she spotted a thin, sick man who was holding his child close by. This man must be in more need than me. She struggled to get a bowl of food and gave it slowly to the old man. In this way, she looked around and saw many sick and old people who couldn't fight for the food. I may be hungry, but I'm sure they need it more than me. So, after a while, even though she was hungry, Helena was one of the helpers serving the people. The food is over. Come back tomorrow for more. Hearing this, Helena was heartbroken. Good job, team, and you too. I've never seen you before. Has Mr. Desmond employed you recently? I haven't been employed. I came here to take food just like everyone else, but then I saw how miserable the people were and started helping them. That's a very unselfish act you did. Mr. Desmond will appreciate this. He is a very wealthy businessman, and he is looking for someone like you to take care of his five-year-old son. Would you be interested? Oh, yes, I would love to. He took Elena to Mr. Desmond and told him the story of her selfless act, and he immediately hired her. You will have the freedom to do as you like here. However, you cannot go into the room that lies on the furthest left of this building. That is my wife's room. She has been extremely unwell for some time and must not be disturbed. If you are found there, then you shall be fired immediately. Yes, sir, I understand. Helena loved taking care of the little boy. However, he was very spoiled and stubborn, much like how she had been. One day, as the boy was playing in the garden, the ball happened to go through a window into a room. Oh, I want my ball. Go get it. But that's your mother's room. I'm not allowed there. No matter what she said, the boy kept crying all the more. Finally, she gave up and went into the house. When she entered the room, she looked around for the ball, but soon noticed a string of emeralds lying on a table. As she drew closer, she gasped. Why? These look exactly like the ones I'd given away. She looked at the clasp and was startled to see the heart etched on it. Baffled and overcome with feelings of nostalgia by the sight of the necklace, she began to cry bitterly. Just then, she felt a hand on her shoulder. <clears throat> Excuse me, who are you? Helena turned around to find Mrs. Desmond standing annoyed behind her. I'm sorry, madam. Your son's ball came in here and I came to find it. But why are you crying? 
Helena explained how it was her necklace that her mother had given her on her wedding day and how she gave it to a woman crying at an inn on one rainy day. Mrs. Desmond proceeded to ask her questions about that day which she answered. It's you! Your kindness is what saved me! I'm truly grateful to you. That necklace helped me when we were so poor. I pawned the necklace for some money, and when we were finally able, I bought it back. Helena couldn't believe her ears, but as she looked closer, she remembered the lady and smiled warmly. One more thing. We will find your family, and once they return, we would like to share our property with you. For if it wasn't for you, we would not be here. Oh, thank you. A search party was sent out to look for Helena's family immediately. They were found not too far from Delarisa and brought back. The families <laughs> lived together, and with time, they grew very close. Helena would always tell the story of the emerald necklace to the kids of the town teaching them the importance of cherishing what you have. And most importantly, if you are kind and helpful to others, kindness will find a way back to you.